Hello. Hello, hello.
Good morning, everyone. I don't think Aaron's joining today. So um, let me know, wave your hands if like um, at any point my microphone becomes really unreliable. But um, I guess I'll fill in for Aaron today. And I think what we're gonna do today is uh, the first half of the meeting is going to be somewhat of a and second me Tim Pepper is going to run a sort of like a really like 115 release team uh, discussion uh, Tim is that today or was we're planning on doing that tomorrow during the release state release meeting we can do it today it's on the agenda for the second half we can at least get it started Awesome. Sounds good. Well, how's it going, everybody? Happy Monday. My name is Mike. I am the release lead shadow, one of the release lead shadows for this release. And uh, just to remind you all, this meeting is being recorded and uh, you all should follow the Kubernetes, um, uh, uh, what do you call it, the code of conduct, which uh, basically boils down to don't be a jerk. And there's no jerks here, so uh, I don't think that'll be a problem. But for, uh, so you know, and following the typical way that this usually goes down, um, I'm gonna hop into uh, updates. So I believe Claire, uh, you usually go first. Would you like to give an enhancements update? Sure, so enhancements, uh, still green since we passed code freeze. We've had nobody, uh, no enhancement get deferred and no exception requests um, that I know of. So no changes since Friday. So considering it's still green. Excellent. Nice. That's always a good sign. 30 down. Were we at 34 on Friday or were we, or were we at 30 on Friday? We were at 30 on Friday. We were possibly 34 last Monday and then lost four between then and code freeze. Nice. Thin in the herd. I like it. Nice. CI signal, uh, Jorge is, uh, or is, I mean, I think uh, Maria is here as well. Yeah. So this week I'm giving the update uh, just to get my, just to get more training. See, uh, Mar uh, Maria will be here for any questions uh, all you, uh, that any of you have that I, uh, that I might not be able to answer. But the general update is we are uh, more or less on the same state as we were last Friday. There have been a couple of fixes, but overall, uh, if you uh, saw uh, just a couple hours ago, uh, we sent out the uh, the report. If you want, if you want to get all the details, uh, let me see. Other than that, so there are a couple issues that uh, that need some love, some attention, couple, uh, from Signode and Seed Network. So the one from Signal, we are still planning to attend our meeting tomorrow. Seed Network, we are trying to get in touch with GCP people. Uh, may, uh, there are a couple issues related to timeouts that we are not sure if it's actually a network issue, a SIG network issue or a GCP issue. Other than that, uh, we also have a top offender, a network and testing, which is, cre which is cre making a job on master blocking or 114 blocking, right, I think. And uh, we also prioritize some of the uh, most flaky uh, failures for, uh, for, the, uh, for the past couple of weeks. These, uh, these are responsible for making, uh, uh, for making many of the jobs ready right in 114, uh, 114 blocking, I think, and master, uh, master blocking. And these details uh, are also in the signal report, and you can and you can all and you can always get the latest from the project board on the GitHub Kubernetes. Any questions from anyone? Yeah. So last week we were talking about having um, some folks from uh, Signode, Sig Network, and potentially Sig Storage and Sig Scalability pop by the burn down meetings to discuss uh, kind of what's going on with the specific failures in their areas. Um, are, are we making headway with those SIGs, or is anyone from those SIGs here to kind of discuss those things, or what's kind of the status on the response that you guys have been getting from the SIGs? Um, that are kind of uh, responsible for the tests that have been failing. Yeah, so from Signal, uh, we have not 
gotten any response uh, thus far. I think in one of the uh, no uh, no hard response from uh, from anyone. So uh, we are still planning to attend their meeting tomorrow. Other than that, uh, I'm not uh, I'm not really sure. Uh, Maria, would you know if anyone has given any response? Yes, it's, it has been indeed quite mixed. The six storage um, has been quite responsive, both with helping us with any failures that have come up and more recently with the, the top flaking test, because they were sort of lucky enough to have the top flaky tests under their names as well. So they've been quite helpful um, with resolving stuff. Uh, it's been a bit trickier with SIGNode and SIG Network, as for his set just now, we plan to um, show up at the meetings to try and engage a bit more with them. The tests that we're looking like pretty consistent failures have some occasional passes, which means, which seems to hint that they are maybe just really, really flaky, but even so, um, it would be good to get clarity on whether it indicates some sort of problem with the, uh, with the release or not. So not much more news for today, but we hope to have some more once we get to chat with them. For sure. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, and let's um, definitely ping me or Ben or uh, Aaron in sick release, and maybe and maybe we can help. Um, you know, get some ruffle some feathers or get some you know FaceTime with uh, the appropriate people if you're having trouble um, getting in touch with anyone or something. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you. Okay, great. Thank you, Jorge and Maria. Uh, next up, bug triage uh, with Nico. I don't think uh, Nico's on. Oh, bummer. Is anyone else from uh, bug triage here? Uh, yeah, I'm from bug triage. Um, so it looks like there was a lot of activity over the weekend and on Friday from uh, our team. So all of the uh, priority or the the blocking uh, issues in CI signal, signal have been updated from both uh, the CI signal team and from our team. Uh, it looks like a number of those have closed. In the last few days, we've had 11 PRs merge um, versus the 20 that still remain for 114. A number of those were for the blocking uh, CI signal test, so that's good. Um, and it looks like we have only a handful of issues that still remain open for 114. Um, so, and a number of them have closed in the last uh, few days as well. So it looks like about seven have closed since uh, the weekend. Nice, is this burn down triage report part of um, the bug triage update here? Yeah. I see, I see, okay, cool. So if anyone is uh, scrolling through this stock and wants to kind of, uh, you know, make the font sizes and bullets more uh, lined up with the, the uh, it, you know, the above update, then, you know, that would for sure be appreciated. I would do it, but I'm not taking notes today. Uh, sounds cool, sounds good. There's a lot of good stuff in here. Um, these things that are red highlighted in the bu uh, burn down triage report, are they of explicit note? I actually haven't seen those. I mean, Take a look. Um, can you link the CI doc? Oh, sure, yeah, let me link the notes. And this is a good time for me to add that if you have not signed your name on today's attendance list in the notes doc, please do so at your earliest convenience. Let's see. Yeah, so these are the ones that are um, the biggest issues. They're the outstanding CS signal issues. I see, I see, nice, nice. I'm just reading through your notes here. So nice. This is actually, I think, um, Marco, I think is adding this. Okay, cool, yeah, and I saw there were a few kind of conversation threads where people needed kind of errands go or no go on certain things. So, um, you know, now that he's tagged here, so hopefully, uh, you know, he'll check those out and he'll see the video later. He always watches them when he doesn't attend, so everyone wave to Aaron. Awesome. Okay, great. Um, okay, cool. So we'll just go through these and make sure that everything kind of have a, has a response and uh, that these red things are... Um, 
getting taken care of for sure. Thank you. Yeah. There's a number of issues that we've seen where it's unclear if they're actually blocking, but they're reported as being blocking. So that's still a little bit hazy for us. Um, so we will be looking for uh, some help from Aaron on that. Okay, cool. Yeah, it seems like there's just like a bit of decision making that needs to happen on things. So hopefully mm -hmm. between Aaron, Ben and I, we can come to some conclusion on as many of these as possible as soon as possible. But I know Aaron's at a conference this week, and it's going to be tough for him to get eyes on everything. So I kind of want to, um, whenever possible, not just, um, you know, chuck things that like to Aaron's plate, you know. <clears throat> so we can go through this afterwards and consider those. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anything else that you wanted to add in the update? Uh, no, I think that we're looking at a green for bug triage. Um, it's still a little bit hazy, kind of still a bit chartreuse-y, but I'm, I'm going to lean more towards green than yellow right now. Okay, great. I'm a round down kind of person, personally, and uh, okay. I don't have a chartreuse. But uh, <laughs> sounds good. <clears throat> sounds good. Thank you for your update. Mm -hmm. uh, Next up is Amit with Test Infra. Yeah, so uh, I just have a quick update. We merged about 151 PRs last week, which uh, looks pretty good. Uh, and other than that, on Friday, we ran into issues with Prow about updating job configs. This is because we were relying on a single config map and that uh, went over limit. Uh, so we have a quick uh, fix in to com kind of compress the size, but in the long term, we'll need a sort of a proper fix for that. Uh, so I don't anticipate it affecting the release much unless we were to add like 100 jobs today, but uh, it's, uh, it's the quick fix is in, so it shouldn't really affect us much. Nice. And was it test infer that was migrating to use a different task management tool recently? You were like looking for feedback on that, if I recall correctly. Uh, not that I know of. Mm, I might just be remembering the totally wrong thing. I was going to ask how that was going, but no worries. No worries. I'm probably just remembering something incorrectly. That's awesome. 151 PRs last week is crazy. It's, like, it's great. Um, kind of a lot for... I guess it was a week leading up to code freeze. So that makes sense. Hopefully it goes down rather dramatically this week. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you for your update for sure. Next up is Jim with docs. Yep. Thanks. Uh, so this should be a quick one. We're green right now. We have um, two drafts uh, pending right now. Our deadline today is to have everything ready to review by end of day today. Um, the two that are still in draft, one of them is Windows, so it's kind of a goofy thing, or a goofy PR, where it's going to be a lot of docs all over the place, so we're trying to figure out the best way to move forward with that, but um, the good news is there's been tons of communication both ways. I have no concerns with the doc landing, it's just how the doc lands, so that's totally, totally fine. And there's another one where the PR was kind of uh, hairy, and so we're working with the team right now on cleaning up those PRs. So the two drafts aren't a concern, we're all good to go, uh, end of day today's the, the deadline, so we're all good. <laughs> Excellent. Sounds great. Thank you, Jim. Uh, next up is release notes from Dave. Or I don't know if Dave is here. I know he usually. Yeah, can't I, I don't think I think Dave's driving right now. So I'll give the quick, quick update. Um, so Lindsay merged in the latest release notes update. You can see the PR link in the uh, notes. Uh, let me scroll. Do, do, do. Just to be clear, that was from Friday. Yeah. It hasn't changed since then. Um, and the other thing we've done is Dave spun up the draft Google Doc for us to start working on and distribute out. Uh, in there, we have also put a first draft for themes, and we've updated our external dependencies, and we're probably going to release the doc out for other people's editing uh, sometime this week. So that's us. Awesome. And what's, what's the decision to just XNA the major theme section for this release? If you look in the doc, and actually I will just do the sharing quick. Uh, Lindsay did something awesome. She took the major themes that the CNCF is covering and then highlighted what it's trying to do, a lot of the key PRs, and also links directly to the cap. So oh. there is awesome reconciliation in the circle of enhancements. So 
that Great. that is a lot cleaner in my opinion for the major themes than before yeah this looks really good this looks much better than having six just write their updates for sure yeah this looks great great work Lindsay and team oh no that was all Lindsay. i just did dependencies this weekend excellent nice well that sounds great thank you thank you jeff and Lindsay. as always uh next up is natasha with comms hey it's caitlin giving the update today um, so we got to the first draft of the blog post on Friday. Um, so we're in great shape there. We'll be getting that out to the SIG leads for review today and tomorrow. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Next up is, uh, branch management with Hannes. Hello everybody. Um, so nothing really new to report from here. Tomorrow we will cut the beta two, and that's pretty much it. Any questions? Awesome, thank you, Hannes. Uh, next up, last up is the release lead update. I'm gonna put um, for my color because I get to pick a color, I guess today. Uh, I'm gonna put yellow. Um, you know, due to just making sure that we wrangle the last bits of the CI signal and bug triage issues that are kind of coming up. So, uh, but the only update for from the release need today is a note from Aaron saying that um, he feels like we're going to stick with Go 112 because uh, the latest runs have been green. So that looks like that's what's going to happen. Uh, other than that, um, there will be more burn down meetings uh, every day this week, basically. So just stay tuned and uh, I'm sure we'll uh, keep everyone updated on how things are going as they progress. Next up, uh, we're gonna go right into the 115 release team selection. And uh, for this, I will uh, hand it over to Tim. Hey, so last week in one of the, the, one of the multiple meetings last week, we had mentioned this was coming. Um, so I guess what I want to start with, I've, I've put a link in there to the release. I just want to start by going through and um, asking each of the leads if they were intending to, to carry forward or if they have a nomination from one of their shadows that they would like to make. So um, why don't Sorry, I'm just pulling up the document. Why don't we go bottom to top to be different today? Um, starting on communications, since Caitlin was just speaking. Yeah, sorry, I don't have a great answer yet. Um, we're kind of prepping still for OSLS this week, which is why we're a bit behind. Um, but I should be able to have an idea of that by next week. OK. That's fine. And release notes, um, Jeff. Do you want? Do you, can you speak to it? Uh, I think Dave's on. Actually, I think he's okay. Oh, okay. Dave, can you talk? Uh, <laughs> his l icons and Zoom look a little weird. Like, not fully connected. Maybe. All right. Um, so, as far as I know, it's uh, between myself, Lindsay, and. Uh, what should I call it, uh, Alina? Uh, right now, I know that I would be interested in going for release notes lead, and I also think Lindsay is as well. I don't know about Alina, so it's it's up in the air. All three of us are capable. We just need to decide internally with Dave, or if Dave wants to do one fifteen. <laughs> no, so oh, yeah. yeah, can you guys hear me? Yep, yep. now we can. Now can. Okay, I just got a new Linux machine, and it's acting all funny on me. Uh, but yeah, I think I sent a previous message out that uh, to see who is interested from the team. Uh, I think everybody on the team's capable, so uh, we'll probably just discuss internally, you know, kind of what the role is and you know what the time commitment is. Probably the bigger thing. Yeah, and I I hadn't explicitly said that, but part of this is is starting to see first who's interested, whether the lead is wanting to, to carry forward or nominate somebody, but then also the discussions, just the shadows 
should have at this point a good sense of what's involved, but just to, to go through again and, and talk about what the time commitments are going to be. And then for folks to think about their calendar as well over the next quarter, like basically through the end of June to, to really map it out and make sure that they are able to commit for the cycle. Okay, so next then would be docs. Yep, so um, I'm sure one of the shadows will be taking over. I just need to talk to them and make sure there's availability and resources there. So pending their <laughs> objection, it'll be one of the shadows uh, selected. Okay. And Hannes, what are your thoughts on branch management? Yeah, I just today started uh, talking to my shadows about that. I need to still see if if this would work out for them and who would be interested. So I don't have a great answer here yet. Um, but I guess we I, I guess at least one of my shadows might want to step up. If not, I'm also happy to continue, but actually I would like to step back a bit to have more time to work on the release tooling. So yeah, it would mm -hmm. be great if if somebody else would take over the um, the lead role. But yeah, we'll try to get that sorted in the next couple of days. Yeah, I also would like to see that. One of the one of the really cool things I think about the shadow process uh, and also lead pro across the spectrum of it is you get in and you, you start seeing problems and you start wanting to fix them. And day-to-day -day operationally, you may be busy doing the stuff, but then if you graduate out of the lead role, it's a chance to continue on to the next level of actually delivering some, some changes back in as well beyond just day-to-day -day ops. So cool, I would love to see that. On bug triage. Hello, uh, there is one person interested, Nicholas has, uh, is interested to step up to the lead role and uh, by the end of the release, I will have someone nominated to take over for the next one. Okay. And test infra. Uh, if I could just add, with regards oh. to test infra, one of um, one of the things that Aaron wanted to bring up during this conversation was that. Um, he would be interested in seeing a non-Googler step up as test infra lead on the condition that there was a responsive Googler shadowing test infra. Um, and he's noted that while we're at the point, while a Googler is still necessary to push some buttons and watch some logs, we've had enough non-Google shadows that they can open PRs and manage the overall process. Yeah, I think Mike just said what I was going to say. I had, I had the same discussion with Aaron and uh, we were of the opinion that uh, we could manage a non-Googler being lead this time, as long as we ha still have a Googler that's a shadow. So as I've been trying to engage a little bit and watch what's going on with the working group Kate's Infra, I've kind of had the feeling that it's a bit early still from that person, or, or like very early still from that perspective, but in Y'all are confident just from the, the perspective of the existing infra that it's it's a good opportunity. Uh, yeah, so I think the the only critical things that the test infra lead needs to do is pushing the test images. Uh, and that can be managed uh, by relying on the Googler shadow or even the on-call person that's going to be uh, for that week. Okay. So I think uh, we, it's a good chance to experiment with this setup. Uh, if not, we might uh, revert back to having a Googler lead from 116. Okay. Well, I, I think if y'all are comfortable giving it a trial, that's a very good process to go through. I mean, last year we did the same with branch management and, and there were some stumbles right at first, but we worked through them and massively updated docs and started getting some like some good ideas on process and automation updates as well. So I, I would like to see that happen. So of, of the three shadows, were any particular looking like likely candidates? Uh, yeah, so I, I haven't finalized uh, on any one yet. Uh, I'll reach out to them to get a final confirmation. Uh, I should have a uh, okay. okay. All right, the next on the list, Maria, CI signal. 
Hello. Uh, so similar to what other teams have said, I haven't uh, quite make it, made a decision yet. Um, I also do feel that all four of the of the uh, other people that were in the CI Signal team are ready to take on the next cycle. Um, so I have booked and will be booking some time with them um, over the remainder of this week to just chat schedules, availability, and willingness above all. I'll let you know soon. Okay. And Claire on enhancements. Yeah, so I would like to nominate Kendrick Coleman to be enhancements lead for 115. Okay. I accept. Outrageous. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I'm really happy to look behind your back, Maria. I guess three of my shadows then are ready to. It's good. Oh, man. Conflict on the team already. <laughs> Cool. Well, that, that is that is awesome to hear. And I know Kenny's had some, some experience there last year as well. So cool. And then lead. So lead is, I, I think, still TBD a little bit what we're going to do. Um, I'll, I'll leave that for, for future discussion yet here because um, Aaron and I had some discussions at the scale conference, but um, the final final thinking there is not closed to my knowledge. So we'll let you all know in the next week-ish or so as we, we figure that out. But yeah, so we, um, across the set of things, mostly just wanted to make sure that people were thinking about this and starting to, to line things up because these conversations take time and the next two weeks are going to be super busy in a lot of ways as well. And then getting a nice clean start on the next release is really useful because 12, 12, 13 weeks go by super fast. And if we lose one or two up front and, or have any hiccups there, that can, can just make life a lot harder as we get further into the cycle. So cool. Good to see that people are thinking about it. Um, I and Aaron, and I'd assume also Ben and Mike will be having some discussions with folks as well and trying to pull this together. And we, we might discuss some more tomorrow in the, the SIG release meeting. Um, but otherwise, I think a lot of this can happen asynchronously as well. And eventually in the next week, I guess we'll start getting a sort of tentative PR up as well. Since right now there's mostly only the, the one specific name for Kenny, I'm not going to start a, a PR yet, but we'll, we'll get that going. And then we'll need to open up to shadows as well over the next week or two once we have the, the leads getting nailed down specifically on names so that they can start soliciting shadows and, and similarly talking to them about requirements and expectations around time and commitment and, and a little bit on skills as well. So for, um, I know we have a lot of people who shadowed this cycle and the leads as well having gone through it, but I think it's important to, to make sure that we're, we're getting a pipeline of people who either have the relevant skills or have a strong desire to really actively learn the skill. It's a, a great opportunity for both, whether it's an experienced person or somebody newer. So. Well, with that, um, I can hand it back to you, Mike. Uh, thanks, Tim. I don't think that I have anything else on the agenda. So um, that sounds great. Thank you all for coming. And there will be a meeting tomorrow, two hours earlier than this meeting, 9 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time, which I know like is not the time zone for any of you but me. But uh, thank you all for coming. Have a great Monday. If there's anything that you need help unblocking, please feel free to at me, Ben or Aaron in SIG release. And um, you know we can totally get that taken care of you for you as uh, quickly as possible, really, as we wind down the last uh, final days. Thanks, everyone.